to open the sacred space. And so we begin. So I feel that I'm opening it, I'm opening the cup. I am opening the cup. I'm opening my heart. I am opening my energy. I am, there's an opening. It might be a heart opening or an energetic opening, a portal. Something is opening. I'm seeing a lotus flower. I'm going to show you guys the cup. <laughs> wow. Just hold it there for a minute. Feel free to get your own messages. All right, first things first, we go over here and then. This feels to me, what I'm feeling is with the opening is like I'm finalizing something and it's like I just, I'm shredding my skin and I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm opening myself up to do something new, to a change. I'm embracing a new energy, but there's an, I'm opening myself up. I feel more open, more receptive. So there's a big release. Okay. Ooh, I also see the Ouroboros. So endings and beginnings. There's exclamation points. An idea. Are you opening yourself up to an idea, to something new? Exclamation points is like, yes, go for it. Like, yes, take a leap of faith. I'm... I'm observing, I'm listening, I'm tapping in to listen to messages from Mother Earth, okay, from the ancestors, there's an agreement, I'm shaking hands, and so yes, I'm opening myself up to something, I'm agreeing, is divine it guided, feels good, I'm going for it, exclamation points. I'm ending something finally, so finalizing. You might be having to go and take care of some paperwork, but this is like the tail, like, whoo, and then I'm shaking hands, I'm moving forward. I'm opening a door, I'm closing the door, and then I will never come back. Okay, I'm hearing lessons learned. Beautiful. Ooh, there's a horse. Rapid movement, expect things moving forward. There's a hawk. I'm riding the horse. There's a sense of freedom. I'm moving forward. I'm connected and listening. I know I'm guided. Obstacles have been removed. I maybe know where I'm at and it feels comfortable. The most important thing here is that there's a sense of freedom and liberation. There's a sense of radical acceptance. There is a sense of I am claiming my free-spirited <laughs> self. I'm ready for adventure. I'm ready for the new, and I'm going. And the horse is going with me, and I'm listening, and I am aware that I'm being guided and protected by the ancestors, okay? I can even hear the, the birds. There's a lot more birds, though, but it is like, the, uh, the air is protecting you. You're always guided, okay? So now, what's happening here? There's a sad face. Some of you are, oh, some of you, there's a spider. The great-grandmother spider is taking you to the underworld as you sleep to help you reveal some things that you have to understand. The great grandmother spider, the weaver of dreams, she wants you 
to have clarity. And so you might be experiencing a lot of revelations and dreams, and they are speaking about your limitations, your fears, where there is unforgiveness. Where do we need to let go? What are the things that we're still recreating, replaying? Okay, so I'm hearing it's time for a reset. Okay. <laughs> there is a boy or a girl and she is grabbing a snake by the head. But I don't think the snake is the snake is not trying to bite the kid. It's just it's there and the kid is grabbing it. Okay. So the snake as a representation of wisdom, primal energy, chakti energy. There's a goddess. I'm hearing Sophia. I'm hearing Chekina. I'm hearing Medusa. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's Medusa. So there's something here, a message from Medusa who might be working with some of you or you might feel like working with Medusa to help you release shame. There's a crow also. So this is a, and there's a temple, sorry, there's a temple and then there's a giant. So this right here is a, is a inner journey into a dimension where there's an aspect of you that has been feeling deceived and in shame, okay? So this, the snake, the, the, the great grandmother spider, Medusa and the crow, yeah, makes sense. They had been, um, they are, or they desire to work with you to help you go into the underworld and the world to heal from shame and guilt. That's the number eight. Remember that if you are holding on to shame and guilt, that will affect eight, your prosperity and your abundance, but also eight is the number of transformation. It's a scorpionic energy. So there's a lot of scorpionic energy here. So remember, take what resonates, that they're different people in different, different uh, stages in their journey. So they're like, there's like, there's a lot playing now. There, there's different energies here. So ask yourself, where do I find myself, right? The thing, the main thing is that there is healing. Healing is happening. You are supported. You are being activated. You're being advised on what to do, which is to, Go into introspection to find answers. Okay, now let's see alphabets. The letter Z as in zebra, the letter J, the letter R, the letter S, D, A. So it can be, yeah, S, D, or Stephen, S Stephanie. The letter A, the letter F, the letter E, the number 13, number 22, number 35, 37, 14, there's a plane that you're going to be journeying or you're going to go Somewhere else, there's a flag. Uh, some of you are going to be taking on a journey. So for some of you, this is about journeying in. But there's also some of you are going to be um, flying somewhere to a meeting, an event. I have the number 44, the letter E, the letter L, the letter T, the letter W. The letter F. There are dragons. 
helping you navigate the changes that you are undergoing. There is a question mark. So you might be having a lot of questions. So a lot of questioning. I'm questioning what I'm doing. And now there is a reunion and there are three. It look like witches coming together, practicing magic, calling in, calling in the crow spirit or the raven. And we have the number 17. So some of you might be feeling like joining a ritual or ceremony or collaborating with two more people. Or well, maybe this, this is about you seeking a spiritual guidance or, but there's, this is about magic and ritual. Okay. We have the symbol of protection. I'm hearing you are protected in all directions. This cancer, sorry, cancer, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini. 49, 1997, the 17, 9, 9 years old, 7 years old, healing the inner child. Music. There's an ancestor, it's a male figure guiding you towards the other side. Crow, oh, there's an, uh, uh, an ancestor on the other side. There is guiding you right now. A male, skinny, tall. Skinny and tall, pretty tall. There is also a person saying, hey, this way, right here, right here. So I feel like there's a heart. And there's like arrows pointing in different directions. And this is, oh, this is funny. This is you saying, hey. And then there is the ancestor walking in your direction. So there is a meeting happening in the in another plane of existence where you're meeting with the ancestors, okay? And there's a heart. And like there's excitement. So there's a reunion. Expect positive outcomes. Things are working now. What else we see here? It says ET. <laughs> ET. There are also some of you are connecting with other worthy beings, higher dimensional. They're giving you information in order for you to bring it down, to download it. Some of you are being called to be channelers. All right. Damn, that was a lot. I feel like I've been talking for a long time. All right, cool. Let's do Oracle. I don't want to keep it so long. Let's just do this one. So we have ending and number 13 was there, the dead car. We have illumination. And like, this is the path you're in. You're going to go meet with your ancestors. You're going to receive information. You're, you're opening yourself up. You're receiving clarity, breakthroughs. Things are opening. Oh, and making sense. We have influence. So you have the power to influence. Okay. You have the power of your voice, of your intentions. Okay. Activating your gifts, your talents, brilliance. You will be you will be provided with new creative ideas, innovation. I'm also hearing is, yeah, plug-in, connect, meditation, solid to introspection in order to receive a download. We have star power. You see star ET is 
connecting with other beings, you might resonate with being star seed, labeled or no label. This is about you connecting with higher dimensional beings. We have frozen, and this is the energy of melting and, and, and releasing the resistance, the, uh, the stagnancy. We have magic and we have authority. Literally, the magic, the three witches, and, and you claiming your own authority. This is you being more open and going for, for the things you know you need to get done or do or for the things that you want to like move forward, okay? You might be promoted, ask, place, ask for, to join something, to participate. Oh my goodness, the magician, the hangman, the tower and the fool. Are you kidding me? This is major arcanas. This is four major arcanas. There's a new beginning. This is happening because you have been working on changing your perception and your perspective because you are seeing things differently. There's an opening, there's an ending happening. There's a tower moment, it's divine intervention, something being revealed to us that might trigger the shit out of us at first, but then bring solutions and clarity so that we can then tap into the magician, manifest things into fruition. But this is all I have for you guys. This is great. So expect the unexpected, stay open, receptive, Get out of your comfort zone and expect revelations, all right? Okay, namaste and blessings. Peace. Please, 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 sorry, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know if this resonated, all right? <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.